It could be a great extra source of revenue for property owners, renting out their home or their property, but it's also a lot of work. That's why our next guest says you should consider hiring a property manager. We welcome Nancy Brown with Carolina Property Management. And Nancy, I got to start with telling you my story. I, I don't know for the life of me, my mother has property. She wants to rent it out, but she doesn't want to go to a property manager. She thinks somehow the property manager is not good enough or going to cheat her somehow. So why should somebody use a property manager? You'll be helping me and yeah. my mom. Well, but it's probably not a safe thing for your 83-year-old mom no. to be out there at collecting rent. No. And, right. And the tenants will be happier because if they use a service like ours, then they will have online payments and everyone wants to do online online payments and not mail a check to mom and they can have instant service a maintenance portal so they can go on and just plug in their maintenance issue and not have to track your mom down um, and and then if you have a happier tenant they're gonna pay more money they're gonna pay on time you're gonna have less vacancy time because you're gonna rent the property out faster so it's it, it's not even a cost. It's actually a gain to pro most property owners. Yes, so many pluses, Mom. I hope you're listening. So many pluses, Mom. So what type of fees are we talking about with the property measure? So typically, uh, the fees vary depending upon what the situation is, but it could be anywhere from 8 to 10 percent of the uh, rent that's collected. Mm -hmm. So it's a nominal fee, and if you think of a rent as $1,000 and you're paying $100 a month for someone else to take the midnight calls and, and provide all those services, and we do other things as well. As we will make sure that the property is maintained over the course of the time, so termite inspections are done, that the batteries are changed in the smoke detectors, and the carbon monoxide detectors are working and the properties maintained oh. and that we do drive-bys we do personal visits to make sure that the property is being cared for mm -hmm. throughout the year so think about just longevity and, and the maintenance and taking good care of a home you are alleviating a lot of problems a lot of uh, family owners will think about oh I'm gonna have these problems but how does a owner find the right property manager that's, that's a good question. So you, uh, you probably are going to do a little research, look at some reviews, go online, and make sure that they're full service. So uh, uh, there's a vast difference on some of the property managers. Unfortunately, the big question I always get is, what is my fee? Not, what are you going to do for me? And I think the what are you going to do for me is more important than what the fee is. Because if I mm -hmm. was like a, a limited service discount uh, property manager, I'm going to give a discount version of my services so your property may not be maintained as, as detailed or you might not have as much service so it you know everything costs money but it mm -hmm. it's so nominal I would be more focused on what are you going to do for me I like that okay why is it so important for your potential property manager for hard stats like vacancy rates and lease renewal rates what is that because most people don't understand that that's right. So if you uh, are um, looking for a property manager, what you want to ask is what, what are the turnover rates? So how long okay. is it going to take for you to lease my property? What's your history on that? So if it takes them 15 days to get the property leased and they can do it before the tenant moves out, um, then that's ideal. You have no loss. So you, uh, we build into our lease agreements that the current tenant is going to agree to showing 60 days prior to the termination of their agreement. So mo more often than not, we just moved one right in. Um, we had zero, zero days of vacancy. So it, one moved out. Gosh. The next day, the, the tenant moved in. So it didn't cost them any money. Now, if you were managing your own property and you didn't care for that scenario, then you may have mo a month to two months of a loss income. So that could be if it's $1,000 a month, you're losing up to maybe $2,000. Yes. So the cost of having my services is, is zero. How do I know if our core values match up? I mean, because that's got to be important, uh, what I believe, right. what you believe. Right, and that's a, good, that's a very good point. And I am not a good match for someone who's not going to invest in their property. So I want to have owners that care about their property that want to have me care about their property. Mm -hmm. So when I say, I think we should do X, Y, and Z to maintain the property or keep it uh, up to date. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's it, we want to make sure that the owner wants to have that same perspective. Yes. So if they're trying to cut corners and not spend the money, I might not be the right fit. So I, I had a scenario where it, um, the owner didn't want to deal with the mold issue in the house, and I had to end the relationship because the tenant was in there, and and so it wasn't a good fit. 
wasn't a good fit, but they alleviate a lot of problems. You alleviate a lot of problems that the homeowner, they don't have to endure like that. You can visit NancyHasTheTenants.com. Visit NancyHasTheTenants.com for more information. Or you can call Nancy at 704-997-3794. 704-997-3794. Please give her a call. Don't do it yourself. That's why she's here to help you. Thank you, Nancy. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank you.